recorded video. Got it. Also got a time being a time. I, I'm, we are on time. In fact, we are early until we're late. That is universally true. Today I'm celebrating, just a little bit, the completion of a paper draft that I started two years ago. When I first applied for this job about three years ago, I mapped out three projects that I wanted to work on uh, that sort of built on each other. The first was I wanted to find every flare in the Kepler database that we could possibly find, and that took me about a year. The second was to take all the flares from this catalog and determine how the rate of these events change as stars age. So we were going to look at old stars and young stars and compare how the rate of these flares evolves over time. And that's the paper that I just finished. Well, I just finished a draft of and now I've sent it to my co-authors. But it's a major milestone and it means we're downhill from here. Publication, hopefully, in the next month or so. The third paper was using that model of how the flare rate evolves, make predictions about how many flares we should see in missions like LSST, like for this, this telescope. And you might say like, wait a minute, is, aren't you in your third year? Aren't you finishing this postdoc and you've only written two papers? I've actually written several more. Uh, the nice thing about this job is you can kind of go where, you can follow your nose and go where the exciting things are. So in the meanwhile, I've written papers about rotation and star spots and, uh, and things like Tabby Star and Boyajian Star. I was able to map out the big picture of things that I wanted to work on and at the same time have the freedom and the support to do related projects um, that came up and they were unexpected. But the truth of the matter is, my goal was to get this paper done at the end of year two. And now we're halfway through year three. So that's why we're 11 months behind schedule. In the scheme of things, that's not too bad. Brutally honest truth is, this paper took a long time, not because it was especially technically difficult or that it was that hard to write. In fact, I really enjoyed writing it. And I spent a lot of quality time in the last couple of months uh, putting some good words down that I'm pretty happy with. The biggest hurdle was my own head. Like I got completely in my own head about it. And it became this self-perpetuating cycle of being behind schedule and missing deadlines that I would set and hopes that I would have for getting this project done or meet some certain goal. I made a really good push to have this paper done before AAS and it didn't happen. It's very hard to force science to fit into a timeline. Which is why I've really valued this job as a postdoc. As part of this self-perpetuating anxiety about this project, it also shuts down my ability, this is for me, it shuts down my ability to work on other projects and so I've got a paper draft that I started six months ago with uh, my friend Brett Morris and I haven't felt like I could write that, I haven't felt like I could contribute to that because I have this big thing hanging over my head that I promised myself and other people I'd get done. So for the rest of the week I'm gonna chip away on the other projects that I've been dying to work on and um, I wanted to make sure I got a vlog in. I figured today would be a great day to shoot a vlog because today they're going to commemorate or open the new bell tower they built at UW. So yesterday I read the entire instruction pamphlet that came with this lens because I was so excited to play with it. Okay. The I entire know. manual, one the entire page. entire one page. And in the limited instructions it said, do not get this lens wet. So, of wet, course, wet is a relative term. It's raining. <laughs> okay, we barely made it. I think I lost Daniela back there. She's taking pictures. We made it to the first ringing of the something something bells. So, everyone, please join me in celebrating Gordon and his inspiration for Bell for the universe. To get out of the rain.
Wait, shocking revelation. Daniela has not been into Suzlo Library, and the rain has abetted enough. We're going to scurry across Red Square, and I'm going to show her the Harry Potter room, keeping in our theme of these bells. <laughs>